So we're going to look at um, powers um, and and how they. Uh, so if we imagine we had x to the power of well x squared. Well, we know that x squared is equal to x is equal to x times x, um, and well, x cubed is equal to x times x times x. So what would be x squared multiplied by x cubed? So, so it's equal to, well, we, we know it's going to be equal to x times x, which is x squared, multiplied by x by x, 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 right? And there you can see, well, that's just 5x, so that's the same as x to the power of 5. So when we when we have these when we have powers and so basically let's imagine we have x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b, that's the same as x to the power of a plus b. Okay, so we add them. So e.g. the one above, right? But we can also say x to the power of nine multiplied by x to the power of fifteen. Rather than writing them all out, we would just add them, and we could say it's equal to x to the power of 24. Okay, so let's have a look at another example because next time, the next thing we want to know is what would happen if it was like x squared all um, cubed, for example. What would that be equal to? Well, it'd be equal to x squared, which is xx. Let's write that a bit more neatly multiplied by itself three times right and we can see there's six of those now so that's x to the power of six now basically in other words x to the power of a all to the power of b is the same as x to the power of a times b so we did two times three and x to the power of six okay all right so let's underline these rules there's that one and there's this one what's the next one we can come up with what about if i did x um squared uh let's do no, x to the power of four more to, uh, divided by x to the power of 3. Well, that would be the same as x times x times x times x divided by x times x times x. And you can see that that cancels out with that, that cancels out with that, and that cancels out with that. So we've got x. Or in terms of power, we've got x to the power of 1, right? So what this is sort of showing is that x, uh, I'm going to rewrite that again, x to the, still not much better, never mind, x, x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a minus b because we just minus them, all right? So that's another rule. Next one is um, a bit weird, and I'm just going to say that if you did this on your calculator, we won't explain why at this moment, but we're going to say that uh, 5 to the power of 0 equals the same thing as if I did 1,000 to the power of 0. It just always equals the same number equals 1. So anything to the power of 0 equals 1. So x to the power of 0 equals 1. We're not going to talk about why that is at this stage, um, but but yeah, those are some of, those are some of the basic rules of um, of indices. Okay, I'll do one more actually, and we'll just do actually we'll do two more. So yes, so yeah, we'll do the the next one is um, x to the power of um, of a negative number. So we already know we know that. Um, x to the power of a. Um, in fact, let's imagine. Let's imagine. Let's take this one here, and let's say that um, a is equal to zero. 
In other words, x to the power of 0 over x to the power, we almost say b is equal to 2, for example, x to the power of 2. Okay, now we know that we're going to minus the numbers, so we're going to do x to the power of 0 minus 2, so it's just going to be minus 2, right? What this is saying is that um, x to the power of minus a is the same as 1 over x to the power of a. Okay. Now we'll do one more. And it's a bit difficult to prove this one. I, I just don't know if I can remember how to prove it, to be honest with you, at this stage. So I'm just going to uh, say it. Um, if I did the square root of x, that is the same as x to the power of 1 half. So if I did the cube root of x, Remember, we don't normally write the 2, but we could do for square root. It's equal to x. What do you think that would be equal to? So this 2 is the same as that 2. So x to the, x to the, the cube root of x would be um, one, x to the power of 1 over 3. So if I had x, the, 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 the whatever root, we can just say the like the third, the cube root, the fourth root, the tenth root, whatever it would be, it's x to the power of 1 over whatever that is. Okay, that's the last rule. So we'll try to use these now then.